Hello everybody, your favourite Spartan here and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be uh, doing our game review of Mafia uh, the definitive edition that we've just finished our playthrough on uh, we're just going to run through a couple of things about the game, how long it took you know, what I thought of the campaign, the controls and just uh, the other different features it's uh, it's got in it if you're new to the channel and uh, you enjoy what you see please consider subscribing as it helps me out a great deal and uh, recently it has gone up quite a lot so uh thank you to everybody who's recently subscribed if you uh continued supporter thank you very much for always showing up and enjoying the videos and without further ado let's jump straight into it uh, this is just gonna be a quick short review um it's not that much to talk about this game uh the game took me about 14 hours to complete i've not really done anything else so my stats tell me 14 hours and four minutes had fallen into that so yeah it's not a very long game um, but I have also not done any of the collectibles really, I only picked up what was in my way during the playthrough of the, uh, on my channel. Um, there's quite, there's a few things to do, there's a, even a free roam mode, I have not even touched at all, so, you know, if you just play the campaign and only do the missions, it'll take you, you know, 14, 15 hours, or that, depending, I, I think I played it on normal difficulty as well, if, so easy might be even quicker harder will obviously take you longer so you know it's around the 14 hour mark that was the main story out of the way um the campaign itself is pretty easy the only things i found hard was the shooting it's like the controls were so it's quite dated they've not really upgraded the way the controls feel or how anything handles i'd say hey the graphics are amazing they they look great but for me it was just if you watch like my last three three videos i gradually get angrier and angrier <laughs> as i'm shooting more and more it's just honestly it's just some of the worst shooting i've had in recent games but like i said the game play itself like the story should i say it was you know it's pretty good i've never played this one i played number two i sort of skipped the first one so i know how this one ended before going to it there's gonna be you know i'm not gonna talk about the story much or, or there's gonna be no spoilers but the uh, yeah the story was quite engaging. Um, another thing I found out whilst making the videos, it says a lot of cutscenes. It's a very cutscene heavy game, and I had to chop so much footage because it just it's hard to, like keep get rid of the cutscene, and then the rest of the game makes sense. So if you're gonna make a video on it, just be mindful. There's a lot of cutscenes. Um, yeah, that's basically. All the risks of the game. There's collectibles that you can pick up throughout the mission. There is also a free roam mode where you can just go around, drive any car, shoot any guns, dress how you want or whatever. Uh, you can go around everywhere, but I've not really delved into that much. But you can get every collectible in the free roam mode, so even if you don't get them in the story, they're not actually missable. Um, there's a, I think there's three types of collectibles I found, other than the cars. Every time you get a car, it collects it into your like personal stockpile and there's 51 cars all together and um we'll get into that in a minute so with the collectibles there's like three kinds there's like match cards you know like football cards but their version of i think they're like mafia bosses and mafia members in the game so you can find them you've got like detective comics that you can find and you've also got the like mystery foxes so i only found one of them in my playthrough but i wasn't really looking either there's like a little outline of a fox and then next near it is an actual fox and you just click it and pick it up i don't really know what they do i don't think they do anything they do collectible things uh so yeah then none of them are missable you can go back in the world and find them so next day is so that's the free room and the campaign done and the last thing you get is a car encyclopedia sort of thing so every car you drive in the game collects there i think it's 51 uh, and every single one of them you can change the colour, change the model, the interior, exterior uh, and you can also test drive it so I think it's like chapter 3 you do a, a race around this big circuit and basically you can drive any car around that circuit so you can just test drive it and play about with it and do what you want with it but yeah that's pretty much about everything um, I've still got a few achievements and whatnot to get out literally just complete, complete the game on e normal and that was it so uh, I might go back and, you know, delve in and collect some stuff and see, you know, 
I mean, I bought the game, so I might as well play it to the max, you know, the full. But, you know, I'd give it probably about 7 out of 10. The graphics on it were incredible. I thought the game was amazing. And I played it on the Xbox One and the Series X. Uh, and it played smoothly on everything. So that was really good. But, like I said, some of the controls were, to me, felt really dated. Especially the shooting. I just couldn't get along with it for some reason. Uh, but other than that... Yeah, seven out of ten. It's it's worth getting, especially if you can get it in a bond like a cheaper bundle, or cheap on its own. I got it in the triple mafia pack because I wanted to play number three as well because I've never played that, and I really enjoyed number two when it first came out. So I thought, let's go that, and I got a deal on it. So it was only about thirty quid I think for three games. So I thought might as well send it a tenner uh, per game. So yes. I'd definitely pick it up if you can, as it is pretty is worth it. And uh, that's everything. So, as I previously said, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy what you see, please like and subscribe and share to everybody else, as it really does help me out. And uh, I'm slowly watching my numbers grow. Um, if you are a continued supporter, thank you very much for your support. It does mean a lot to me. And I will be making a sort of another review on the elite series 2 controller which i've just purchased and spoiler alert it's fantastic and i'll also be making a quick video on these alongside the controller because uh, my previous video with these review of these um people have been having problems with the connectivity so i thought i may as well just tell them and see show them how i've done it because i've had zero problems with it so you know i'm just gonna try and help people so if you're ready for that it's coming very soon and i hope to see you all in the next one so bye bye